marching silently to remember, grieve and demand justice. Survivors, the bereaved and the greater community walked together in the shadow of Grenfell Tower. Nadia Shukan. Basin Shukan. The names of 72 people killed in the blaze were read aloud at several memorial services held across the day. Those gathered were wearing green, the colour adopted by survivors and relatives of those who died. A dove was released for each of the victims, plus an extra in case more deaths are later discovered. This is my, my sister. She was the youngest in the family out of our siblings. I'm the eldest. This is my two younger brothers, Hamid and Hanif. That's my dad. And this is my mum. For Mohammed Hakim, who lost five members of his family in the blaze, the past year has been unbearable. It's been extremely painful and extremely difficult for me because uh, from having a family to not having a family at all and being orphaned by the fire as well, it's been extremely hard and painful. Across the country, 72 seconds of silence was observed. Royalty and the emergency services among those stopping to mark the occasion. This anniversary is a day many have been dreading. It brings back so many painful memories. But as you can see from these signs here behind me, the community is also still angry. Many believe authorities ignored them before the fire and abandoned them after it. Grenfell Tower was home to many social housing tenants. Twelve months on from the fire, more than half the survivors are still waiting for a permanent home. Some are in temporary accommodation, the rest still living in hotels. This was the worst domestic fire in the UK since World War II and the outpouring of grief on the streets one year on shows this is not just about individual trauma, this is clearly a community shattered by tragedy. Sarah Morris, TRT World, London.